Hey guys, apologies for not actually introducing this video earlier, but welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, then welcome. Currently, myself and Sam are in the south of France, sort of near Nice, in this place called Monton. I'm basically just gonna be bringing you along with me. I can't wait to show you what we get up to. This is what I'm wearing, so a white skirt, but it's actually a skirt, which is ideal in this weather, so you don't chafe. And then a sort of crossover top. And I'm just gonna wear my Air Forces, because I didn't actually bring many shoes. day is it day two or three now sam 16. okay i think it's like day two like our full day day two we're just heading out to dinner in monaco we have to get the train there so we have to walk 10 minutes to the train station which isn't too bad and we're going to this restaurant like on the beach which is really exciting because i love the sea we actually went in the sea today but it was really really choppy so we were literally getting thrown about and it was all a pebbly beach and the pebbles are giant and really sharp so you come out basically bruised like i've got bruises all over my legs just got back from Monaco. Excuse my hair, it's all very frizzy. But you will not believe what just happened. You honestly won't believe it, right? So we thought that the trains ended at midnight. So we didn't actually look at getting a return train ticket because we didn't know what time we'd be finished up in Monaco. We wander around for a bit after our dinner. You know, like when you're on holiday, you just tend to naturally have dinner a bit later than you do when you're at home. So it's about half 10 and we think, okay, we've got one hour and a half. Let's go home now. So I look at what time the next train would be and it says there's no trains so we were stranded in monaco basically a train from monaco to monton is two euros we had to pay 70 euros for a taxi back the same journey two euros on the train 70 euros in a taxi anyway it gets worse i am deathly scared death 
really scared of wasps and bees. I'm in the taxi and I feel something like going along my arm and I think I must just have like an itch or something. I turn and look to my left. A wasp had been crawling all over my body in the dark and I am so proud of myself for literally not letting out a scream because when they come near me I literally start screaming and it's the fact I didn't even know one was on me the taxi driver literally had to pull over and get it out because I was so terrified I will return tomorrow for day three slash four and hopefully nothing goes wrong touch wood <laughs> going out for dinner i've had to put my hair in these plaits because it is literally unmanageable like it is off the scale it's so frizzy when i do wash it it does help in some ways but then also makes me lose a lot of hair so i don't really know what to do i have literally been hit with like a wave a huge wave of tiredness i am exhausted right now i think i want to have something just really like light and refreshing tonight i've been looking for a restaurant that does caesar salads but for some reason in the area that we are caesar salads are like really rare they like don't exist
is our last night here, which is so sad because I've really enjoyed being by the sea. This is today's or tonight's makeup. I've been doing sort of no eyeliner recently. It's been taking a bit of time to get used to it. I literally wear eyeliner every day and I've been wearing it since like year seven. So when I don't wear it, I feel kind of bare. I'm just wearing this again. Currently got my socks and slides on. I'm sad to go home. But then it is this guy's birthday. He's running away when we get back. So that will be nice. Mm -hmm. 